Hello there, guys. Welcome back to TPG Repairs. Or should I say, welcome all of the new viewers. Well, uh, this is gonna kind of be uh, like a crossover event between my two main channels. And yes, if you don't know, I actually do computer repair and uh, IT jobs and stuff. It's actually been pretty rough uh, over here on this end, uh, as my poor, poor Biggie Bank had to cross the Sahara Desert to find Benjamin Franklin's uh, as of the past few weeks. So that's why you should consider buying your new PCs from the best, which is me, of course, on either eBay or Facebook Marketplace. Until I eventually, uh, cough cough, decide to pay Google the $12 a month for my uh, website.com domain. But, anyhow, uh, let's go ahead and get down to business. Our computer today comes from uh, the nice sellers on eBay, Human IT. That on the listing stated that the computer did not power on. Unfortunately, but perhaps fortunately, once I finally got my hands on the thing, it actually was just another case of the screen crack issue. Which, of course, happens if you were to either A, drop your computer, or B, smash it with a hammer at any point in its lifetime. Dells, in particular, haven't really given me that much issue. They're usually pretty intuitively designed, or they were designed with repairs in mind for normal people, not arbitrarily restricting it, to having to borderline destroy the screen to actually replace the screen. Cough, cough, Apple. Call Lenovo. <laughs> you you guys need to get it together. Come on. So this process really isn't that complicated. The actual complication that I had, which is just me being stupid in particular, not really a technical or skill thing, was just getting uh, the replacement screen. So when I, in particular, were looking for um, searching up the part number, which is usual standard procedure for getting a replacement screen, you just use the part number that's labeled on the tag on the LCD. From there, you just Google search and just find the screen or any comparable screen that would fit into the computer. In this particular instance, uh, it, it was listed for, like all of the things I saw was listed for 30 pins, when in actuality, the screen was just a 20 pin and Let's just say, uh, long story short, I was too lazy to count the pens, which resulted in a weeks of wasted time and money by me, but I eventually got it straight, got all of that refunded, and got the actual screen. So, make sure to count those pens, guys. After finally getting my hands on the correct display, we can finally start on the actual repair. I'll be using my double-sided tape, my uh, iFixit set, and uh, that's pretty much it. We're gonna start out with going ahead and getting rid of these useless brackets from the uh, display that I purchased. They usually have um, bits on the tips where you can just gently pull out the tape from underneath. We're going to be replacing it with my thicker double-sided tape to make sure it covers uh, enough of the surface area. And it's important to leave, uh, just like the original set of double-sided tape, a bit that has the cover on it, just to make it easier to actually take it off in case of the screen cracking again.
Next, we're gonna make sure we seat the uh, LCD cable in correctly. And we're gonna go ahead and put the brackets onto their correct screw holes here. This was uh, pretty challenging because I'm pretty sure um, the back of the case was kind of bent in some way, which made it so that the alignment was a little bit off. And uh, it, it was kind of difficult to kind of get it aligned correctly. I don't know. But after we get everything nice and screwed in here, we're going to go ahead and cap it off with the bezel. And voila, we have successfully replaced the screen. After that, I did some um, fiddling around on the uh, um, the internals and found that a RAM did not want to cooperate with me. So therefore I sent him out for pasture just to keep him for potentially another computer I could use it in that it would work in. And of course there's no actual NVMe storage device in there, so I have to go to Best Buy and actually buy it off screen, which was like, uh, I got two because I actually play video games and it's pretty, it was worth it. I spent 70 bucks, okay? <laughs> well, I, I spent quite a bit of money on it though, I really should know. But um, it's, it's good. And here's the end result. We've got our nice boy running for maybe the first time in years, I don't know. <laughs> I will leave the links to this listing in the description below. So if you're interested in buying her, then you can go ahead. We'd super appreciate it. In the meantime, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel and TPG Tech on YouTube, my second channel. And I'll see you around. Peace.